Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, this is Brad Locally, and today I'm going to show you the five most used apps that people are using so you can use it too. The first thing that we have is Reflection app. So let's go to the control bar and search for Easy Reflections. So let's scroll down a little bit and here we have Easy Reflections and click the first one and select an element in your design create reflection and you can either choose below above left right or whatever you want but for this one i'm gonna use below so let's just adjust this a little bit here okay it should be at the same size of your product or, or your element and there we have it we have the reflection app so it's so cute it's so easy so you can see a lot of products are using this one especially cosmetics products if you're in the cosmetics industry you should probably know that the next thing that we're going to do is the gradient background so as you can see there's a lot of quotes or any posts from social media that they have a gradient effect on their background and we don't want a plain one so today i'm going to show you the gradient generator so let's go to apps gradient generator click this one and as you can see here there's a color palette noise level and also you can randomize the color then for the color palette uh, you can choose whether your brand colors and just put here the hex colors but for my side i like this one so i'm gonna randomize this and if i were able to choose a color that i like for example this one i will lock the color palette and randomize it so it's gonna be the same color palette but it's gonna be a different design so let's scroll and i want this one so let's add this and drag all the way to the design then go to positions and to the back so that's it that's easy and cute as well so you can do this a lot of times i've been having a hard time before looking for this but now i have it the next thing that I'm going to show you is type gradient. So we're in a, we're in a gradient room right now because we don't like boring things. So let's search up type gradient in the apps. And here we have, we don't want boring colors. So we will do a type gradient. So today our main text will be the same quote from earlier. Move forward, good things are ahead. It's giving the Rob Meet the Robinsons. Have you all watched that before? It says, keep moving forward so move forward good things are ahead and let's go to the font i want this font to change and let's scroll all the way down oh this one looks cute let's click it and see oh it's too much so let's see another font okay this one's nice so i'm gonna click this and go back now i want the gradient colors to be a little bit different but it's the same with the color that we used earlier so let's just adjust this one but as i i said earlier you can always put the hex colors of your color branding okay then just i want a little bit of yellow here something peach and let's drag here okay then i want the middle one to be a little pink okay here just drag it until you get the good colors that you like and the last one let's just scroll and see what's good in our, in our eyes this one's green i don't like it but it's good uh this one is good too so that's it i'm just gonna add this to my design and you can always adjust the design whatever you like if it's too bright for you or you really want to add more colors to your uh text you can always update the element but for this i'm just gonna adjust the line height and there you go and update element and that's all for type gradient. Now the next thing that we're going to do is the type extreme. So you may be familiar with this because you can see this everywhere. But type extrude adds 3D designs to your text. Now let's go to apps and search for type extrude. Click this icon right here. And see, are you familiar with this now? 
now we're gonna do that in canva so easy so let's do the main text and i want to add our branding which is brand locally so type in here brand locally then you can also choose the font the colors the outline thickness the angle of the extrude so i want to add our color branding let's see yellow let's purple white oh it's my mistake here so this one looks good in my eyes so i'm gonna do change the font this one this font is good but but what if i choose another one so here a tone oh this one is better so let's scroll down here and adjust the extrude angle extrude length and also the outlet thickness so let's just do some experimenting right here and see whatever you like i want this a little bit longer so let's just add this to our element or add this to our design okay let's go down then let's make it a little bigger so you can check it okay so the extra length is a little bit big so i'm gonna adjust this one just a little one then also the extrude length i want this like downside of the brand locally then update element and here we have and that's it and just easy as that you have a 3d text on your canva design so we have our guest tonight taylor sweet and i want her to feature in one of my favorite apps in canva which is the choppy crop so let's search up choppy crop right here in apps click this click the first one then you're gonna select an image on your design to get started so let's click on taylor swift and adjust then you can see here i'm just gonna give a space to crop her it doesn't have to be perfect but make sure to crop all the way through so click this it doesn't have to be perfect you just need to crop here just enough space then down here then there okay i think that's good for me and you can reset it by clicking the first point and now we have here so let's add this to our design and delete the previous one so what we have here is what usually do in what usually people do in their scrapbooks or if you can see the infographics in instagram so they put the uh, they edit this they do shadows and see here i added some shadows i put an angled shadow here and i'm gonna show you one example i'm just gonna drag this and copy and copy this paste here something like that so you can use this to your posters postcards instagram posts and wherever you like and that's it for today if you like this kind of content don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you soon bye bye